Hello guys, welcome to Hussein Studios. Today we're going to work on making a perfume bottle look super real. Get ready for some fun with 3D modeling and making cool stuff. Let's do this. First of all, press A to select all objects, and then press delete key to delete all objects. Press 1 for front view, press shift A, and go to image and click on reference to add reference image on viewport. Select reference image from directory, Press Shift A and get new cylinder. Move it to center by pressing G and then Z. Press S then Z for scale in Z direction. Go to edit mode. Select this loop and extrude it. Scale it by pressing S. Extrude it again by pressing E. Go to solid mode by pressing tab. Right click and apply smooth shade. Go to modifiers and search for solidify modifier. Before increasing the thickness change solid mode to wireframe mode so we can easily see the solidify mesh. Increase the thickness to 0 0.05. Apply the modifier. Go to solid mode and go to edit mode by pressing the tab. Here we will separate the inner and outer mesh. Select any vertex of outer mesh. Press Ctrl L to select the entire mesh. Press H to hide the outer mesh. Select any vertex of inner mesh and press Ctrl L to select the entire mesh and press P to separate both meshes. Now rename the both meshes, inner mesh as inner and outer mesh as outer. Press Alt H to unhide the hidden mesh. We will work on outer mesh. Select this loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Extrude it by pressing E. Scale it little bit by pressing S. Select this loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Bevel it by press Ctrl B and move the mouse away from select vertex. Increase the number of loop cuts by scroll wheel of mouse. Now again select this loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Bevel it by pressing Ctrl B and move the mouse away from select vertex. Select this loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Go to wireframe mode. Extrude it by pressing E. Scale it by pressing S. And move it by pressing G then Z to move only in Z direction. Select this loop by holding Alt and left click on edge and bevel it by press Ctrl B. Hide the outer mesh. Select the inner mesh and go to edit mode by pressing tab. Select the loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Move it Z direction by pressing GZ. Bevel it by pressing Ctrl B. Scale it in Z direction by pressing SZ. Select this loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Extrude it by E and scale it by S. Move it little bit down by pressing GZ. Press 1 for front view. Press Alt H to unhide all objects. Press Shift A and get new cylinder. Scale it in Z direction by pressing SZ. Move it by pressing GZ in Z axis direction. Scale it according to reference image and adjust it little bit. Select upper loop by holding Alt and left click on edge. Extrude it. Scale it. Extrude and scale it by E and S. Give two loops by extrude. Now again press E then S to extrude and scale down. Again extrude it by pressing E. Again extrude and scale it. Now bevel all the loops of cap and lid by Ctrl plus B. Take loop cut by pressing Ctrl R, place it here, and scale the loop cut. Go to object mode by pressing tab. Right click and apply shade smooth. Go to modifiers and use subdivision modifier. Go to edit mode by pressing tab, and use some loop cuts on mesh for better representation.
Select this loop, move it down so that lid looks like coming from cap. Again, use loop cuts on mesh. Go to object mode by pressing tab. Our bottle is almost ready. Now, press Shift A and take a cylinder. Rotate it on X axis by 90 degree by pressing RX 90. Go to side view by pressing 3. Scale it down by pressing S. Move it to the upper side of bottle by pressing G. Then scale it by pressing S. Adjust it to the bottle lid by pressing G. Go to edit mode by pressing tab, then go to wireframe mode. And select the vertices by select box. Now go to front view by pressing 1 and extrude and scale it. Now go to side view by pressing 3 and extrude it on Y axis. Go to front view extrude and scale it down. Go to side view extrude it on Y axis. Go to solid mode and get out of edit mode. Right click and apply shade smooth. Go to modifiers and search for subdivision surface modifier. Go to edit mode by pressing tab and take some loop cuts and use them on mesh. Take loop cuts using Ctrl plus R. This will help you control the subdivision and refine the shape of your model. Now we will add a rope. To add a rope, press Shift A and get a torus. Move it by pressing G and right click to shade smooth. Scale it down by pressing S, then scale it on Z axis. Go to upper view by pressing 7 and scale it down according to bottle cap. Now go to modifier and take array modifier here. Change this vector x 1 to 0 and z axis to 1 and increase the number of counts. Move it by pressing G then Z in Z direction. Now we have made the rope. I think we have to scale it up for better view. For the background, get a plane by pressing Shift A. Scale it up by pressing S. Move down by pressing G. Now go to edit mode and select these two vertices and extrude it in Z direction. Bevel it by pressing Ctrl D. Now go to front view and scale the plane on X axis. Now for the lights, press Shift A and get a new area light. Scale it up by pressing S. Move it up by pressing G. Now press R, X, 90 for rotation. Go to upper view and adjust this light in front of the bottle. Now press S to scale it up. Copy area light by pressing Shift D. Now increase the light intensity 10 to 500. And for other two area lights, change it to 400. Now, we are going to create the label for replica perfume bottle. Go to edit mode by pressing tab. Press 1 for orthographic front view. Unhide the reference image. Hide the inner part of the bottle. Go to wireframe mode. Add a two loop cuts for label. Double check the loop cuts perfectly aligned to the lower and upper edges of image. Change the vertex to face, press C for circle select tool, and select all the faces that matches the label of reference image. Go to wireframe mode to solid mode by pressing Z key. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the selection then right click and press P and click on selection to separate the mesh. Go to side view by pressing 3. Select the label and go to the edit mode. 
Select the face of opposite side label, press Ctrl plus L to select the faces. Press Delete key and select Vertex to delete the opposite side label. So far in this video, we just modeled the bottle and the background with lights and created a plane for label, where we will add a texture of label. Now go to the shading layout for adding materials to bottle. Press 1 for front view, then hide the reference image. Now, unhide the inner bottle. Select the outer bottle. Create a new material, rename it as outer, delete the principal BSDF node, and add a glass BSDF node. Select the inner bottle. Create a new material and rename it to inner. Delete the existing BSDF node. Add a glass BSDF node. Open the reference image. Use the color picker to select a color from the reference image. Set the IOR, index of refraction value, to 1.33. Switch to the cycle's render engine. Check the material to ensure it appears as desired. Select the perfume bottle lid. Create a new material and rename it to lid. Adjust the base color as desired. Increase the metallic value to 1. Decrease the roughness to 0 0.277. Switch to render mode to check the appearance of the material. Select the object labeled Cylinder. In the Materials tab, open the pre-made material named Lid. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode. Select the Face Selection tool. Press C for the Circle Selection tool. Select all the faces. except the center face. Click on the plus button in the Materials tab. Assign the selected faces to the new material. Click on New to create a new material for it. And rename it as Area. Do the same for center face. But this time, change the base color to Absolute Black. Select the rope, click on New in the Materials tab, and rename it as Rope. Add a displacement node to the displacement of the material output. From the displacement node, add a new node named Noise Texture. Zoom in on the model for better visibility. Increase the value of the scale for the noise texture to achieve the desired effect. Decrease the roughness to 0.342 for smoother results. Create a new material and rename it as Label. Add an Image Texture node. Open the texture file for the label. To match the label texture on bottle, switch to UV Layout. Go this window and press S to scale the selected part of mesh, and adjust it. Again, switch to the Shading Layout. Create a new node, Displacement node, from the Displacement of the Material Output node. From the New Displacement node, add a Voronoi Texture node. Zoom in to Label. Change the Voronoi Texture type to Minkowski. Adjust the scale value of the Voronoi Texture to add desired details to the label.
Add a color ramp node to make the black part more shiny than the rest of the label. Then adjust the slider for black letters reflection. Connect it to roughness. Now let's check out the finished bottle by switching to render mode. We'll see how everything looks together. In this video, we've done a lot. First, we made a model of a perfume bottle. Then, we added a background and some lights to make it look nice. After that, we worked on the shading, which is like coloring and making the bottle look real. Finally, we textured the label, making it look like it has a design on it. Now, let's switch to the layout mode. Press 1 to switch to the orthographic front view. In this view, we'll add a camera to capture our scene. Press Shift plus A and select Camera from the menu. Next, press N to open the sidebar and navigate to the View tab. Here, enable the Camera to View option. To set the current view as the camera view, press Ctrl Alt 0. Now, adjust the camera position and angle using the scroll wheel to get the perfect shot of our scene. Switch to Render Mode to check the bottle model. Disable the camera to view. Scale the background in the x-axis. Create a new material for background. Rename the newly created material to background. Go to the Render tab. Change the Samples setting to 2000 for better quality. Also hide this reference image in Render Mode by disabling this camera icon. Go to Render in the top menu and select Render Image to render the scene. Thanks for watching.